Breaking research news from a team of scientists led by Carnegie's Dave Mao reveals that the composition of the Earth's lower mantle may be significantly different than previously thought. The lower mantle comprises 55% of the planet by volume and extends from 670 to 2,900 kilometers, or 420 to 1,800 miles, in depth, as defined by the so-called transition zone and the core mantle boundary. Pressures in the lower mantle start at 237,000 times atmospheric pressure, or 24 gigapascals, and reach 1.3 million times atmospheric pressure, or 136 gigapascals, at the core mantle boundary. The prevailing theory has been that the majority of the lower mantle is made up of a single ferromagnesian silicate mineral, commonly called perovskite, defined through its chemistry and structure. It was thought that perovskite didn't change structure over the enormous range of pressures and temperatures spanning the lower mantle. Recent experiments that simulate the conditions of the lower mantle using laser-heated diamond anvil cells at pressures between 938,000 and 997,000 times atmospheric pressure, or 95 and 101 gigapascals, and temperatures between 3500 and 3860 degrees Fahrenheit, or 2200 and 2400 Kelvin, now reveal that iron-bearing perovskite is in fact unstable in the lower mantle. The team finds that the mineral disassociates into two phases, one a magnesium silicate perovskite missing iron, which is represented by the iron portion of the chemical formula, and a new mineral that is iron-rich in hexagonal in structure, called the H phase. Experiments confirm that this iron-rich H phase is more stable than iron-bearing perovskite, much to everyone's surprise. This means it's likely a prevalent and previously unknown species in the lower mantle. This may change our understanding of the deep earth. Lead author Li Zhang, also of Carnegie, explains that scientists still don't fully understand the chemistry of the H phase. This finding indicates that all geodynamic models need to be reconsidered to take the H phase into account. And there could be even more unidentified phases down there in the lower mantle as well, waiting to be identified. These results are published by the journal Science. With the independence for nimble pursuit, Carnegie scientists tackle some of the most profound challenges in modern science, fundamentally changing what's possible for us, our planet, and our universe.